Use the audio setup wizard for a guided approach to setting up your media. It can be found in the Meetings drop-down menu. To begin, click Next. Click on Play Sound. If you hear sound, your speakers are properly set up. Next, select the microphone you would like to use from the drop-down menu. To check that the correct mic is selected, you will now see if Adobe Connect is registering your voice by clicking record and reading the sentence. If you see the bar moving, you know the correct mic is selected. Click stop. Click the play recording button to make sure the audio is not distorted. Make sure during the text silence portion of the setup you are silent so the system can properly reduce background room noise. Click next and click finish. Click finish. You should now be properly configured for a meeting. For advanced troubleshooting, right click and click settings. Once you are in a meeting, click on the microphone icon at the top of the screen. It will turn green once activated and little bars will show registering your voice. If you do not see this icon, it is because the host of the meeting has not given you the permission to share audio. You can ask in the chat box for this permission if available. The best way to avoid feedback loops or echo during the Adobe Connect meeting is to use headphones or noise canceling audio devices like these. If using headphones is not an option, go to the meeting drop down menu and click on preferences. Go to audio, make sure used enhanced audio check box is checked click full duplex and fast from drop down menus. If you are still experiencing problems, please visit mediaservices.wustl.edu for more information.